Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Ashlyn Black and welcome back to the stream. How is everyone? Happy Wednesday. It's the cutie where? What's up Lord Commander Gilliman? The entire ultramarine fleet arrives. Holy crap. That's, that's a lot of ultramarines. It's a lot of smurfs. I don't know where. Ash, you're great. Jiro, thank you. That's so sweet of you. You're great. Honestly, between the two of us, I'd pick you. Uh, the people in our community seem to struggle in the eye department. I know, we're all really bad about, like, getting shit in our eyes. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hope you've had a wonderful hump day. Um, hang on, I'm gonna put on some different music here. Yeah, that'll work. So, today we are only doing just chatting, and we're only gonna do it for probably about an hour. Um, I'm not doing great today. Um, at all. Like, I'm fine, you don't need to worry about me, I don't want anyone to, like, worry, but I just... I, I can't, today. Um... Wolf's, Wolf's Blood, you did a really good job of describing it, like, throwing up the white flag today, like, yeah, that's... That's been me today. Um, and the roommates had a really hard day, too, so she and I are gonna go out and get some pizza, because, like, we just... Honestly, we need, like... We need a good movie, a good cry, pizza, and a good vibrator. That's what we need tonight. I think we have all of those, except we haven't cried yet, so... We, I think we, we're gonna do that tonight. <laughs> a flamethrower would be great as well. Jira, thank you so much for the... Gifting 10 tier 1 subs! That is so sweet of you! Oh! Oh, oh! Onim, congrats, and Trope. Violent Blue, hello, sweetie! Uh, LHR Liver Die, Gitka, Commander Jack Powers, Wolf's Blood, uh, let's see, Wadredi? Or Wadredo? Uh, Vulgrim, and William. Congrats, guys. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Oh! Let's get as many of Woos in chat as possible to welcome all these people into the Wolf Pack or back into the Wolf Pack, depending. Well, that's awkward. I can't lurk anymore, do you, Jiro? <laughs> How's it going, Gekka? How you doing, sweetie? Jiro, that was so nice of you. DJ Sticky Mouse, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub! Oh my god, we're like... We're, we're, we're getting there. We have 50 subs for the, uh... For the month, and we're already at, like, 8. Which is not even accurate, it's, it's 11. Wait, how did that sub me? I'm already subbed. Double subbing. Which is a hard balance to do. As a dom, double subbing, like... 
You gotta make sure you're giving attention to both in equal parts. Ow! Thank you again, Jiro. Oh my god. A good vibrator. Why is there an LOL at the end? Did I stutter? I'm unsure if I stuttered. I don't remember stuttering, but maybe I did. <laughs> Shad, true that, Ash. Hitachi wand for the wind. I actually, or for the wind. For the win. I actually have a Hitachi, and it's fantastic. Honestly, I swear by that, by that vibe. Uh, now you know how guys feel in threesomes. Everyone needs to have fun. <laughs> Hope you and Food Angel feel better tonight. Thank you so much, Catfish. That is so sweet of you. Good point. Double subs uh, sound pretty good. <laughs> DJ Sticky Mouse. Ow! 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 Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, hon. What if it's like I'm double subbing by being a sub to two doms at the same time? That could get dangerous. You'd have to be careful with that. <laughs> if, if both doms are like the same amount of aggression, then you should be okay. Let's see. There's too much redacted howls in here. Yeah. We get kind of, uh, kind of ferocious in here. <laughs> Let's see, I want two subs, I'm hungry. Gonna go to Firehouse later. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Firehouse would be good. That could be painful. You gonna whip me for betraying you? No. I tried using my whip again earlier. I do not have enough room in this in this room. There, there's not enough space to actually like get it to crack, which sucks. So, I wanna talk to you guys for just a minute. Um. Also, is my music too loud or is it okay? Cause for me, it's like fucking blowing my eardrums out. So you get the horse whips. Music good. Music fine. Okay, cool. So, I mentioned yesterday that I'm going to be putting on a um, production for you guys, basically. Uh, and I wanted to go over the details of that because I've ironed out some stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm really annoyed that women can have all these special brands and uh, super vag simulators and whatnot, and it's cool. But I buy Super Cock Stroker 9001. And with a porn star pussy mold, and I'm a pervert. Bullshit. I don't think any guy who gets one, like, okay, yeah, there are a lot more sex toys for women than there are for men, but that's just because men are bad at please. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Well, it depends on the guy. That was a joke. That was meant as a joke. Come on, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, there are a lot more sex toys for women than there are for men, and it's kind of bullshit. Um, I think the the stipulation, or, or the stigma, I guess, comes from the fact that guys are always horny, so people are just always expecting guys to be horny, but if you're so horny, you go get a toy? Shit, man. You're a perv. You got a problem. And yeah, I think that's totally wrong. Uh, anyone who gives you shit about that, dude, just tell them to fuck off, honestly. Like, there is nothing wrong with it. Um, I would say half the girls I know have toys. You know, it's less common for girls to have toys, but almost no guys I know have toys, like, ever. I'm not counting handcuffs as toys and shit like that. Anyways, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna finish this. Just notice I very often get the email, Ashlyn's gone live, and the next email is Amazon, PayPal, Twitch, change your... Oh, Amazon Pay, Twitch, charge your... <laughs> Jiro, yeah, that makes sense. You are uh, very giving, Jiro. Please make sure you're not putting yourself in a bad spot for me. Okay. Back to what I was going to talk about. Um, what would Ninja Jesus do? Thank you so much for the tier two sub. Ow! 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 Thank you. That is so sweet of you. None struggle. It's payday. Everything is good. You guys are super sweet. Okay. I need, I need to finish what I was going to say. So I'm putting on a production for you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to play... Um, Space Hulk Deathwing. Okay, Warhammer 40k Space Hulk Deathwing. Um, and in that game you play as a bunch of Terminators, which are bigger space marines, bigger, more deadly, squishy, you know, kill you dead kind of space marines. Um, and it takes place on a Space Hulk, which is a collection of derelict ships uh, that have all kind of gotten stuck together. And um, yeah, we're, we're fighting forces in there. That's all you need to know. Uh, for that... We will have four people, uh, myself and three others, and they will all be in character, okay? Myself included. Um, and we're going to be RPing 
different space marines from different chapters. Uh, I don't think anyone in here is actually RPing a Terminator, um, so we're just gonna make believe for, for this that it's not a Terminator, it's a regular space marine, and I will be um, RPing as a sister of battle. I will also be cosplaying as a sister of battle, and I did pick up uh, Kimpatsu's making of Sister of Battle PDF, okay? And this has all of the stuff that she did to make her costume. And I'm going to make my own Sister of Cosplay, or Sister of Cosplay, Sister of Battle cosplay. I'm super, super hyped about it. I have to budget it and figure out how much it's gonna cost and we can start a donor goal for that. Um, but ultimately what you guys are gonna get is a uh, eight to 10 hour stream. I am unsure because we're gonna go through the entire game. Um, in character, gameplay focused with role-playing interactions and reactions to what's happening in the game. Um, so it'll just be like a really, really immersive game experience. Um, but like my HUD's gonna be off. You won't see any of the in-game menus or anything. I am going to create a special HUD. So you see the, the you know, like Tron looking HUD that I have here that I made. I am making a special HUD just for this production. It'll be 40k themed, it'll be very minimal. Um, the concept of what you guys are viewing is that there was one of those um, servitor skulls. I forget what they're called. I'm still new to 40k, but I have I have time to brush up before before we do that. Uh, following us around, recording what all's happening, and you're kind of watching a playback of that. Cyber skull. Thank you, Chad. Server skull. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, we will all be in character with accents. Uh, anyone who has a, you know, is a space marine is going to have a voice modulator, so they sound like a space marine. And we've all got backstories for our characters. It, it's going to be very, very cool. Um, this is going to be the biggest event that I have done on my stream to date. I am going all in on this. Um, I'm very excited about it. I'm going to be doing a ton of research. Like I said, the cosplay alone is going to be hella, hella difficult. It's going to take a while. It's going to be expensive. Um, but I really want, I, there hasn't really been anything like this before that I've seen, at least in, in the, the Twitch stuff that I've been around, where it's, I won't be interacting with chat, it will just literally be a production. We're basically putting on a play, but the focus is the gameplay. So, you know, we're never going to know exactly what's going to happen here, 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 and here. There'll be certain events where, yeah, XYZ happens. Um, but otherwise it'll just kind of be a, a, a live stream of a play almost. Uh, and you guys had some really positive feedback on that. I, I heard a, a, a very loud cry of, oh my god, that's awesome. So I'm glad that you guys are excited for it. If you want to sign up for it, uh, hey Ash, how's it been? What's up, Rum Chum? How are you, sweetie? Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. Uh, if you guys want to sign up, we are doing tryouts, okay? For the three slots besides my own. Um, if you want to sign up, that's in the Discord. So go down to my Twitch panels, go to Discord, and there will be a... What is it? It is a uh, L Ludus Tryouts channel. And uh, if you want to know more about it, it's under the uh, Orders Militant Ludus. And Ludus is just Latin for play or to play, so whatever. It's a it, it's working title. <clears throat> but it'll give you the details on what all you need. Um, basically, you know, you'll need to have the game, you'll need to be able to dedicate that time to the stream, like no interruptions, no no kids, no parents, no nothing like that. Um, yeah, it, it goes over all the different things that you'll need to really kind of apply for that. But uh, I'm really excited. It's gonna be super fun and we're probably going to do it in September. So I'm gonna have a bit to make the cosplay, um, a bit to practice, get everything together, make the new UI, and we're gonna do it as the one year stream anniversary event. I'm very, very excited about this. Ludus rules, no crotch droppings. Ew, what? What's a Protoss? Uh, wobbly Wednesday? Why has it been wobbly? Also, what's up, from Chum? When is this happening? It will be happening in September, but that's because I need to spend a lot of time putting together the cosplay. I'm really busy this month. I will be really busy in August. Um, and yeah, I need to make sure that my, my character is properly equipped in the game and that we know what we're doing and stuff and yeah it's 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 been going fast like I'm catching on pretty quick to a lot of the stuff but I'm very excited about it and super nervous um yeah so if you want to sign up for that that's down in the in the discord 
Anyways, that's all I had to say about that, I think. Um, please, please don't sign up if, if you're not going to be able to do it. Like, you know, or don't, don't be really trolly with it. I'm looking for serious stuff here. You guys can goof off and do whatever the hell you want in the rest of the Discord. But this I'm, I'm taking very seriously, so please respect that. Um, hope you are going for Flamer. You're role-playing a sister battle. I was originally. There's actually a class in the game that works perfectly for that. It's the Inquisitor Chaplain. And uh, they have a shield that can protect allies. They have a shield that reflects damage. And then they also have, they can res friendlies when the friendlies die. And it seemed very much like acts of faith, you know, sister battle kind of thing. And they have access to a flamer. But, okay, so this is a good thing and this is a bad thing. You guys know how I feel about flamethrowers. Good evening, man. What's up, BSG? How are you? You guys know how I feel about flamethrowers. And for those of you who don't know, I name all of my flamethrowers Hitachi because that's the only thing that makes me happier than my Hitachi. Um, the flames in this game are so good looking and so realistic that you actually can't see shit when you have the flamethrower. It is so bright and there's so much bloom and even with it off, it's still just like, it's it's intense. Um, but the graphics in this game are fantastic and uh, the fire looks really good to the point where you can't tell what's going on. So I'm not going to be using the flamethrower in, in the play production. Um, I want you guys to be able to see what's going on. I will be using it's a storm bolter. We're gonna pretend it's a, a just regular bolter, and a uh, power sword. Okay, uh, I think it's actually it's whatever the psyker's using. It's it's kind of a power sword, but it's I don't know. It's got like psyker powers imbued in it or something. I don't fucking remember. But it's a power sword. And my character is going to be a uh, sister of battle, probably a canoness. Um, maybe. No, yeah, it, it, she'll probably be a canoness. Maybe a sister superior, we'll see. But uh, I have to come up with all that, and uh, it's gonna be very exciting. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy it. I'm super excited to work on it. And it's something I can sink myself into, which I really need right now. Uh, that kind of helps me stabilize and be okay, because I'm, I'm really not okay right now. Seeing is overrated, seeing is believing. Yeah, I was watching Cyclone Jack play using it over the weekend. Dude, the flamethrower looks so good in there. And the nice part is, okay, in every game where there's a flamethrower, the flamethrower is usually kind of like, eh, it's all right, it's all right, it's, you know, eh. The flamethrower in Space Hulk Deathwing is the most overpowered piece of shit I've ever seen in my goddamn life. The Inquisitor Chaplain is the most overpowered class, okay? But that flamethrower is just ungodly powerful. And it's realistic. It's fire so thank you i'm so glad that one dev got it right one company understands how fire works thank you but it actually does make the game kind of really easy <laughs> it's it's a good time though uh let's see shad eventually once we are stabilized in the new house i want to start building some of the cosplays uh of my cosplay ones Ooh, first being I'm nearly seven feet tall, be a Spartan. <gasps> Ooh, are you talking a Spartan from 40k or Spartan 300? I assume you're talking 40k. That would be super cool. What's up, Pope Nicole? Haven't seen you in a bit. Happy hump day, hon. How you doing? How's it going? Got a Drake. How are you? How have you been? Happy May, everybody. It is May, which means that our goals have reset. Our dono goals, uh, our follower goals. We're only going to 2200 this time. Um, I owe you guys a 12 hour stream. But we did our cosplay stream, we did our drunk stream. And remember, the drunk streams, we're only doing one a month now if we unlock it. Um, and that's gonna be at the end of the month. I'm also 100% going to say you will look awesome and hot in your cosplay. Aw, Catvis, thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, let me, um, let me show this to you guys. I think I showed it yesterday, but I wanna show this again. This character is the inspiration for my sister of battle. Um, so I am gonna have a scar on my right eye, even though hers is on her left. I'll have one on my right that'll go with my eyebrow scar. And then I'll have one across the nose, black lipstick, uh, the fleur de lis right there. That'll be pretty cool. I'm um, gonna do a white wig. I wish I could get my hair dyed white for this, but it's it's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm super, super excited about this, guys. 
like I said, this is going to be the biggest thing I've ever done on my stream. Like, I'm going all in on this. Everything. UI, in character, no HUD, like, the costume, just all of it. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be fun. I'm really hoping you guys end up liking it. Why is Ashlyn showing us a selfie? Bjorn. Uh, anything beyond regular Master Chief would be awesome. Dude, that'd be pretty... Well, even then, like... Oh, Spartan from Halo. Uh, MK6 Mjolnir Power Armor from Halo? Fuck yeah. Dude, the, you'd be perfect as the Master Chief. It might do the MK5 from Reach for customization. Nice. I always wanted to play ODST. Never got to. Future selfie. Hello, Alamo Fox! How are you? Haven't seen you forever, Weasel. Congrats on almost full year of streams. Oh, that's not till September, but thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're at seven months now. We're going on eight. Uh, it's not a selfie. We saw both hands, so she didn't take the picture. <laughs> Striking resemblance to her. Well, that, like the same hairstyle too. So I'm like probably gonna part it over here-ish and like flip it over, and it'll be similar to when I had the the cyberpunk like cornrows. I don't know if you guys remember that. It's more of a Viking hair. Usually run a Sierra 13, the bad penny. I don't know what that means. Halo collection on Steam will be everything from 360. I know. I want to get it. I really want to get it. It's on my um, it's on my Steam wish list. You wish they'd put Halo 5 in it. It's kind of silly that they don't. Funimation is celebrating 25 years. Oh, interesting. I did not realize that. So yeah, that's that's where I am right now. I've got a lot of stress. Uh, you'll notice that I'm super temperamental. If you're dealing with me on Discord, I'm just pissy as hell right now. Um, I'm really, really... I'm trying to be okay. Um, but this this production is really exciting, and it's keeping me focused, and it's, it's keeping me okay. So I'm going to be drowning myself in that for a while. <laughs> Turn is Halo 5. They have to sell that Xbox One. I mean, I guess that's fair. I'm six foot seven. I'd love a chance to cosplay a Space Marine. Last cosplay I did was Wrath from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Did I miss cosplay talk already? No, you're here in time for it, Farrick. How's it going, hun? Hugs, Ash. Thank you so much, Catfest. I appreciate that. And then my mascara is like fucking just bleeding everywhere. This sucks. Hugs in chat for Ash. Aw, thank you, Bjorn. 6'10-ish. You guys are crazy tall. Depending on the day and how long I've been immersion bench decompressed. That's insane. All these epic cosplays and here I am getting trim so I can cosplay trip from Star Trek. That's super cool though. Dude, any cosplay is a cosplay. Okay? Even if it's a casual cosplay. Most of what I do is casual cosplays. I've had a couple really hardcore cosplays, but like, I've never had anything like this. I've, I've never done anything even close to this. The finished costume for Kimpatsu looked like this. I highly doubt mine's going to look that good, but like, check that shit out. If I even come remotely close to something this good, I will be so proud of myself and so happy. Like I said, I've got her PDF, um, shows how to go through all of it, and I'm, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna budget it first, we'll set a dono goal. If we reach the dono goal, then I'll be able to, to do this. Um, and I wanna get your guys' thoughts on something real quick. I only need the top half for the stream, right? I just need the breastplate, the shoulders and neck, and then the arms, right? But it'd be really cool to have the whole costume. At that point, I'm just missing legs and, you know, the greaves, and then, you know, accessories, weapons and stuff. Um, Doing something once you're already doing it is the easiest way to do it. Like, if I need to do stuff on the car, it's easier to work on the car when I'm already working on the car instead of, oh, I'll just finish this one thing and I'll come back to it in, like, six months or whatever. Like, that's... that sucks. So, I'm probably gonna come up with two budgets. One is the full costume and the other is the top half. The difference is probably not actually gonna be that much, honestly. The materials aren't too bad, but, like, I don't have a soldering gun. I don't have a heat gun. There's, um... I don't have a cutting mat. There's a lot of just like initial supply stuff that I would need to budget in, so. We will see. 
You might as well do it all unless it becomes too expensive. That's what I was thinking, Gitka. So I'll budget both of those and we'll, we'll see where those are. This is casual only because, uh, have you ever seen Trip? You've seen me on a daily basis. Oh, <laughs> I actually haven't. I am not at all a Trekkie. I don't know anything about it. Uh, what is mascara again? Is it the eyelash stuff? So mascara is the eyelash stuff. Um, it's technically my eyeliner that's running, but I didn't want to... I wasn't sure anyone here would know the difference, so... Echo Wood, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic hump day. What's up? I believe in you, Ash. You can do it. Also, having the right tools helps, too. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be taking my time with this and doing it right. Again, speaking for everyone in this channel, we all appreciate the bottom half. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I forgot. You guys need that, uh... That sister of battle booty, right? Need that booty armor? Holly Spice Wolf! Thank you so much for the 1155 biddies. Oh no, wait, what's the plus 105? Oh, is Twitch doing a bonus thing? Thank you so much for the biddies, Holly! You're wonderful and beautiful and I love you. Holly, did you see the cosplay I'm gonna be doing? Depending on what you build with, materials can be anything from super cheap to decently spendy. When I build my Mjolnir suit, I'm actually going to get the stuff to do the armor in fiberglass cloth. Oh, wow. Actually, I have undersuit and a hard armor shell. Dude, that's crazy. Most of what I'm going to be dealing with is Warbla and um, foam paper. I'm going to be using the exact same stuff that she did because she did it, so it obviously can work. Um, yeah. And I don't know how pricey Warbler is. It sounds like it's going to be decently expensive, but we'll see. Cosplay biddies, yay! Thank you so much, Holly. Need? No. Want? Hell yes. <laughs> now Holly knows how to make an entrance. Yeah, Holly really does. How are you, sweetie? Mwah. It's important to distinguish between need and want. I need everything that I want. <laughs> Warbler gets expensive. Uh, use it as little as possible. Sadly, most of it is... It's about $15 for a square foot. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's mostly Warbler. Most of the costume is Warbler. That's gonna be expensive. Ninja Jesus, thank you so much for the vitties! Yay, thank you for 300 vitties. That's so sweet of you. What's up, Soda? How you doing tonight, hon? Remembers working with fiberglass, shadow... Yeah, we had to do a bit of fiberglass work on some of the old plastic parts on the Torino. Because it's all original plastic from like the 70s, so it's, you know, all gone to hell. So we had to redo some of that. Used a fiberglass aircraft construction with vacuum molding. Fiberglass. Uh, boat construction repair as well. Oh, wow. Well, if you know how to do it, yeah. If you can work with it to that level, then go for it, man. Because fiberglass isn't too bad on price. But Ash needs it. <laughs> Made a Timberwolf and MWO look like a Rainbow Six Black Eye skin. Oh, that's badass. That is super cool, Soda. What's up, girl? How you been? What's up, Defits? I haven't seen you forever. Happy hump day, hun. What's good? What's up? You can buy large 5x3 sheets for around 95. Oh, that's so expensive. Oh, fuck. Yeah, most of the costume was, was Warbla. I can measure it out though, like, probably three. With a five by three sheet, I might be able to get most of the costume done. So we'll see. We'll see, I might just need two of those sheets. So that's not, that's not terrible, it's not great, but it's not terrible. So like I said, I'm gonna budget it out. If not, then I'll end up going with something, I don't know. I'll do a cheaper cosplay, which will, that'll make me really sad, but like, I'll figure something out. I will. Catfist, I use torque with fiberglass on casting furnaces. Uh, you get very itchy if it touches your skin. Yeah, fiberglass is a pain. It gets super itchy. Tightweight cloth is between $3, dollars for a foot, so yeah, not cheap. Oh, for fiberglass. Oh, damn. It's an advanced synthetic polymer material that's still pretty new, so it's hard to manufacture. Gotcha. Um, I started dying and having some med things happen. Oh my god. So, stopped streaming and watching people until this past week. I'm so sorry, Defits. 
I hope you're doing okay. You got me all worried, man. Wolf Split, thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate that. What is that, 500? Thank you. I'm talking to a few cosplayers I know getting sources. I'll let you know what I... Oh, awesome. Thank you, Bjorn. That's super sweet of you. Uh, Captain Hustles, you know what rocks? Irish spring soap. I've never had any. Still the best after all these years. I don't think I've ever tried it. Could do like a tiered goal. <coughs> Where one level is cheaper version, but then the top is the full stuff. That's not a bad idea, Waffles. I'm glad you didn't die too. Honestly, for power armor, I would say go with a semi-hard neoprene foam for the armor bits. Uh, cut and layer it for your raise. Yeah, that might be what I end up doing. I would definitely need Warbla for the breastplate. The torso area is just, what I'm gonna have to do is put on a corset beneath it and then put on basically, it was like wrapping plastic, then you do it in duct tape to get the basic shape down, draw your lines and use that as a mold. Uh, I would need to do the warbler for that part because the warbler goes over and, and holds it all together and hardens the foam pieces that are under that. What I could probably do for the shoulders is just like bigger foam pieces and for the rest of it I could probably just do like, like you know those, um, the big puzzle piece foam that goes on like kids bedroom floors and shit? That stuff. The stuff that you typically see done for uh, Mass Effect armor. For carve stuff out of insulation foam, seal it with Mod Pudge. I do have some Mod Pudge. A few layers of thin paint. I use every man jack. It's damn fine, man's brain. You have cosplay weapons for Cam and her friends. Oh, nice, Tyrannus. Got this. It's a brand. Uh, duct tape thing requires a shirt to be sacrificed. Um, not for the way that it's done in the PDF. Yeah, I, I have her whole instruction booklet on, on how to do it. She's actually got a uh, plastic layer underneath that. Then I forget what kind of plastic sheeting it is, but that's what ends up becoming the sacrifices rather than the shirt. Actually, Ash, get an old dead t-shirt and a roll or two of duct tape. Sure. Yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing, but um, yeah. I'm not looking for cosplay advice at the moment, guys. I'm getting kind of overwhelmed at the moment. Thank you. Um, I have the guide. I'm going to price things out. I'll come up with several different different price points of, okay, we can do, like, the full thing with this. We can do, like, you know, a simpler version with this and whatnot, and we'll see what we end up doing. Rogue Trooper. Look, if I ever saw one, stop pretending to... Wow. That's rude as hell, Rogue. Uh, fair enough. Wouldn't mind getting the title for that. Sounds like good tools. Wait, the title for what? Warbler is also going to be your friend with that cosplay ash. I'd say check out some biz on how to use it. Yeah, like, everything that was going on in there, in, in the instructions, it seemed like the Warbler is pretty easy to work with. You know, it's not going to be a pain in the ass. And so definitely the breastplate plate at least has to be Warbler. It, it's gonna be covered in Warbla. Painting is the most fun. I I like doing spray paint stuff. She did a lot of airbrush. I don't have an airbrush. Um, we'll see how much that is, and maybe I can budget one in. Uh, but I'm I'm excited to do that. I'm also a little nervous. Not sure how Warbla reacts with different paints though. Uh, yeah, she's covered all of that. You end up doing it over uh, a primer over at first. Let's see. Saran wrap. You'll see. No, it's not saran wrap. We're going to definitely cool to play with, though. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks pretty fun. It it really does. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what's going on. We're looking at having a September date for this. Um, it will go up on YouTube after, so the entire stream would be in character. There's no chat being read. It is just, it's the production. Then after that, I would end up uploading that to YouTube as a full, like, thing. Almost like a fan film. 
and then you guys can can watch that whenever. So if you're not there for the stream, it's totally fine. But uh, I'm I'm really really hyped for this. Like I said, this is gonna be the biggest thing we've ever done on the stream. So that pretty much covers it. Um, I'm gonna hang out with you guys for a couple more minutes, probably like 10 or 15 minutes, um, and then I'm gonna go with the roommate and go get some pizza. Cause yeah, like I said, pizza, sad movie, cry, vibrators. I need all those things tonight. So does she. All right, I'll drop a pic of the black ice in Discord. Please do Soda Soap, I wanna see that. I definitely wanna see that. Uh, good, have fun with the roommate, but not too much fun. You're not my boss. Uh, will the pizza have pineapple? Hers might. She doesn't usually get pineapple from this place, but she likes pineapple on her pizza. I usually just get plain cheese. I got pepperoni the, the other day. I don't remember. And, uh, like, it was really good, but I could literally feel, like, like the grease on my skin after eating that. I'm just like, ew. <laughs> this is gross. You deserve a pizza day, Ash. Thank you so much, Catfish. Uh, or too much fun, whatever fits you. Ker, let's see. Kermamuna, how are you? Hello, pretty. I don't really like pineapple. I love pineapple on its own. I absolutely love pineapple on its own. It's okay on pizza. I'm not all about it, but the grease, only bad thing about pepperoni, right? Okay, uh, someone told me, I think it was someone on stream, they said, next time you get a pepperoni pizza, put salami on it as well. I'm not been able to go to a pizza place recently that has salami as an option, but it sounds really good. It's an MWO picks, nice. Uh, but I tried uh, Isanaka once and it was good. Oh, what is that? Hang on, I'm gonna Google this. Oh, was that a bad thing? Is that what just happened? What the fuck is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh! Ha! <laughs> I had to load up the images before I realized what this was. Yeah, I would imagine that that maybe doesn't help the pizza at all. Oh my god, there's some really fucking weird pictures with this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that would be a sausage pizza. I'll hard pass on that. I actually don't like sausage. I don't think I like... I think the only kind of sausage I like is Jimmy Dean's, where it's like the shitty breakfast thing that you microwave and it's super dried out. It's just... It's awful. And it's only because it's not sausage at that point. It's just like a shittier bacon. That's the only reason I like it. Uh, let's check out the thing that you posted in MWO picks real quick. Yo, that's fucking badass. Let's check this. Chorizo is nice on a pizza. I've never had that either. Something something obvious joke about sausage, etc. Well, yeah, I looked up the word that, that they use and it's can't tell if it's just the foreskin or what. Um, that looks fucking awesome, dude. That is super cool. It does look like the black ice skin. So what it looks like for the base you use the uh what? Ice bear? Pretty sure it's what you use there. Smoked brisket, shredded. Ah, oh, Darren is. That sounds so damn good. Arizona ranch pizza, though. Oh man, don't torture me. Nice paint job. I know, right? Soda did a great job painting that. Use ghost bear camo. Okay, cool. Uh, dark blue, then light blue. Gives it a cracked ice look. That's so cool. You can't stop me. No, but I can flip you off for it. I can definitely tell you to fuck yourself. Uh, me and the better half buy a pizza base uh, every other week and make our own pizzas. Oh, that's super cool. I want pie. I like pie, but like homemade pie, but pie is such a pain in the ass to make. If you make your own crust for pie, that is no joke, like a six hour ordeal. Or longer. I think it might have to go overnight. Yo, I remember when Qdoba did shredded brisket on a burrito. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Pizza pie. No, like a regular pie. 
Damn it, Ash. That casual go fuck yourself just made me spray my drink everywhere. <laughs> Why? I do that shit all the time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get your drink everywhere. I didn't mean for you to spray your liquids all over. Ew. <laughs> uh, it's super good in tacos and I imagine it would be. Shredded brisket. Yeah, shredded brisket is, is just amazing in general. That's probably my favorite kind of meat, is shredded brisket. Uh, pulled pork as well. Super, super good. Um, I also really like chicken fried steak, and I have no idea what is actually inside of it. They tell you it's steak. I'm not so sure, though. Like, it's gray, and it's kind of, like, shredded, but not. I, yeah, I'm not gonna ask. I'm just, it's good. Are you saying pizza isn't regular? Probably. Wait, what? No, I don't remember what I said. It's usually like cheap cube steak. Oh, and chicken fried steak? Really, really low quality beef? That makes sense. Well, half the reason chicken fried steak is so good is because of the breading around it and then the gravy you get with it. Regular pie, I gotcha. Well, no one calls pizza pizza pie. If I say I want a pie, you know what I mean. I'm either talking about, you know, the porn thing or fucking a pie. Ashlyn, hey, what's up, Alex? How are you, hun? Happy Wednesday. I like to eat pie. I do too. I know what you mean. Pizza. Can we get a ban on waffles? Can can someone please ban waffles? You can't, because he's the mod manager, which sucks. I'm regretting every decision. Uh pizza pie porn? The hell did it Well no, it wasn't no, that's not the porn I was talking about. But you all know what that is, too. <laughs> ban self. Cannot ban moderator professor waffles unless you're the owner of this channel. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Thank you for trying. That's the important part. Oh my god, I need to get my roots touched up. I really need to get my roots touched up. Or I could just let it grow out. I don't know. I wonder if I could get white hair before September. That would be expensive. I'm strawberry blonde, so it's blonde, but then in most lights it's red, so it's got like a red sheen to it, if that makes sense. Spend an industrial sharpie and have your roommate color it in. <laughs> That's how I put the white lettering on my tires, Terranus. Let it grow, let it grow. You have iridescent hair. I do. I've never had it described like that, but it's true. Yeah, I have iridescent hair. Thank you. Oh my god, Alex, you just made my fucking night. Professor Waffles, never overestimate your importance. Uh, big mis uh, big mistake people make in life. Would you let your brows go too? I have not had actual eyebrows in a while because I, I find my natural eyebrows just like they don't do what I want them to so it's easier to just draw it on and be done with it uh I would maybe try they grow back pretty fast so I, I would probably try and we'd see how how it looks but maybe you can make white sharpies no um, wait what <laughs> what are you talking about Terrence? I know how important I am and uh it's super and ban me. She's scared to. Uh, um, wait. There we go. Okay, cool. Bosses is banned. Um, Redhead is how everyone here has fell in love with you. Because, <laughs> you know, redheads are super hot. You guys have only ever seen me with black hair. You don't know that I'm a redhead. <laughs> You know what they say, fire on the head, fire in the bed. I, it's, it's accurate. Yeah, it's absolutely accurate. Okay, how do I unban Waffle? Oh, I gotta type this shit in. Look what you've made me done, Waffles. Unban. Oh, well, thank you, Terranus. And now I have to mod him again. Look what you made me done. <laughs> I know what I'm saying, okay? Do what I'm telling you. There you go. Welcome back, Waffles. I was gonna ban him for that. <laughs> that would have been so fucking hysterical. Oh, it's good to be back. You, you weren't gone long enough. 
All right, you were not gone long enough to say that. What's up, Texas Big Bear? How are you? Happy Wednesday. Um, so do you guys have any questions for me about the production that we're putting on? Uh, went over all the important things. I gotta make a budget for the cosplay. We're gonna need to hit the donor goal for that. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time studying up on the lore, practicing in game. Um, I'm gonna make a new UI for it. Uh, I'm recruiting a, a crew right now for this. So if you guys want to be in the production, if you wanna be one of the, the members, uh, I guess one of the actors technically, um, please sign up in the discords down in my Twitch panels and you're gonna do that in the Ludus tryouts section, okay? Um, and I'm going to be super stringent, so if you don't get picked, don't take it personally, all right? It's not a personal thing. There are a lot of requirements and they are all requirements. Like you have to be able to make a full eight to 10 hour stream without interruptions. You can't have your family walking in. You can't have, like other than emergency, emergency is emergency, go take care of that. But like, yeah, you have to be able to dedicate the time to it. Um, yeah. So if you're not able to, it's totally fine. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna be very, very strict on it just cause I'm taking this super seriously. This is like the, the coolest thing I've ever done on the channel. I should design Ariad's armor. Add that to the cosplay list. Who's Ariad? So how long would I have to learn the lore to meet the other requirements? Um, you have to be able to be in character the whole time, so I'm unsure. How much do you know about 40k at the moment? Your chapter master. Ah! Hang on, I'm gonna Google them. Let me see what they look like. Where's artifice armor? Oh, I wanna check this. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. Wait, that's a plant. <laughs> If you switch the letters, that's literally a plant. Um, Warhammer? I can't find any pictures of them. Interesting. What's up, Vereen? How you doing? Played tabletop many, many years ago. Uh, I mean, it really depends. We're, like I said, they're gonna be tryouts, so we'll actually get in game with you, um, and, uh, we'll, we'll try you out and see how it feels. My right, pinky toe has been dipped into the ocean. Oh, wow. That's kind of how I feel right now. Oh, it's your personal chapter, not lore. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you, Shad. Not bad. Back from the store. Awesome, Vereen. I'm just about to head out and get some pizza. Um... But I will see you guys tomorrow. And I'm unsure if I'll be here on Friday. I'll be gone again Saturday, Sunday. I'm gone again on Monday. I actually have a doctor's appointment. So I have to go straight from a full weekend of working on the car to home, shower, put my makeup back on, and go to the doctor. May is going to be one of the hardest months I have had in a very long time. I am super busy. I am super exhausted. I am super cranky. So I apologize. I'm going to be a bitch. I love you guys, though. Thank you for being here for me. Thanks for putting up with me. Have a lovely night, Ash. Thank you. Enjoy the hell out of it. I'm gonna try. Let me see how it goes. You have an entire backstory? Ooh, awesome, awesome. I'm probably gonna make an RP channel for for 40k in the Discord so people can do RP stuff there. At least post bios. Uh, have a good night, Ash. We love you. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much, Waffles. I appreciate that. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, Vereen. What's up, Whiskey Lullaby? Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Put some batteries on your Amazon wish list. <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? Uh, have a good night. Luckily, it's rechargeable, so I don't think it. We do have a, another one that definitely needs batteries. Have a good night. Relax, unwind. I'm gonna try. I guess, Ash, you need a, a me and a food angel night. I do. You work super hard. You deserve a break. Thank you, Katniss. Have some frisky. <laughs> Pixar, it doesn't happen. No worries, look after yourself. Thank you, Marine. And if you need it, I've got the cricket bat. I've got some whips on. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. All right, guys. I'm going to drop you off on probably um, Haven Kendrick's channel. 
Let's see if Haven's still streaming. Haven is streaming. Logan's streaming Star Citizen. I think we're gonna go with, with Haven here. Don't let your hopes rise too much. Pixar didn't. <laughs> yeah, don't get your hopes up. Yeehaw, I'm one gorgeous person to another. I know, right? Haven's got some big titty anime stuff. <gasps> he does have big titty anime stuff. Yay! You guys are in luck. Enjoy the night, Ash. We love you. Love you too, Cadvis. Have a good one, hon. Star Citizen is free this week. Ha! Fucking Star Citizen. Have a good night. <laughs> Star Citizen's not a game, it's a pyramid scheme. Thank you. Thank you for saying what we were all thinking. Here we go, we're gonna raid Haven. Have fun, when you get in there, no woos. Just everybody scream Monica at the top of your lungs, all right? And also type it in. Make sure to type it in, otherwise he's not gonna hear it. Uh, stop with that game, right? Yeah. Yep, sorry, Star Killer. There you go. I'm just going to copy-paste Terranus's Monica. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. And again, Monica, all right? A bunch of Monica when you get in there. Just just scream it and, and say uncomfortable things, but not TOS things. You know what? Forget the last part. Just the Monica. Here we go. Bye. What mech do we turn into your girl Shelly? Honestly, we can just do... We could redo one of our uh, Highlanders here. I know she was playing a Highlander. Ashland Black!